here's a desk lamp, a video lighting kit, a screen bar, a disco lighting and wireless charger into one single unit. It looks like the transformer of all the desk lamps out there, but is it the best one? Let's inspect! Hey, welcome, really nice to meet you, I'm Michael. On the channel we expect a lot of cool and interesting tech and today we're going to talk about the boring lamp which happens to be a smart innovative new desk lamp and the last word I would use to describe it is called boring. Uh, in a matter of fact the name of the company reminds me of how the story around nothing has begun and they do share some similarities like the use of LEDs in their devices, the sleek and nice innovative design, the ability to customize even portability because that's uh, an external battery kit which you can connect and you can use it as a portable light system or I don't know a lightsaber or something so in this video I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about boring zero the first product uh, in this product line and we're going to see about the use cases the technical specifications with the main goal to figure out whether that's the perfect desk lamp for you there certainly are a whole lot of good and reliable desk lamps out there, but Boring Zero is meant to be different and unique and offer a lot more in terms of functions than the rest. You can find cool models by Philips, by BenQ and many other brands, so the point is to choose the one that will serve you the best. In terms of unboxing, the pack is quite slim. Inside all the components that you need, there's a detailed user guide to explain about most functions. The main stand with the light tube, there's the base. The battery, the magnetic stand for the screen bar function, the power adapter and a Type-C cable. That's it. Lightweight, well built and ready to rock. Specifications are also very promising. The light intensity is up to 1500 lumens. It has adjustable angle. You can use it in different modes. There are color LEDs inside as well. There's a 3000 mAh battery. On the base you count on wireless sheet charging with capacity of up to 10 watts. There's a USB Type-C input source and touch-based controls. The specs sound great and it's apparently brighter than most of the competitors into the same price niche but you know from everything I really like how easy it is to set up the boring zero lamp because you don't need extra tools or skills you don't need a screwdriver you don't need to solder all you have to do is to rely on those uh, very easy to use magnetic joints because as soon as something is connected you're going to sense that you know, it's so simple. Now uh, you're gonna need to connect to a power socket and that's gonna be your base station with the wireless charging area. Then you take the main tube, connect it right here. Again magnetic base so you're immediately going to sense as soon as it's connected. Then you take the LED tube, put it here, tap and hold for a couple of seconds because this on the side is a button, a capacitive button, and it's ready. Uh, you actually can count on three grades of the white color, that's the standard neutral one. You tap and it's going to switch to warm white and you can tap once again in order to switch to cold white and uh, the neutral one which I like the most. And you can also adapt the intensity using this knob from very strong to rather moderate. And you can adjust the angle on your desk, so easy to operate and even you can lift it up or down. Basically super easy to use and believe it or not this is just the beginning of your journey with the boring lamp because now I want to show you the other use cases. Option 2 use it as a screen bar. So here we need the magnetic stand, we attach it to a monitor or laptop, connect the power source or the battery and we enjoy. This is where you can also take advantage of the RGB function. Quite fun to have it and besides changing the colors there are a few funky presets. So let me take the lamp out of the screen bar mode and connect it to the battery. Again click, twist, tap and hold and we can already enjoy it. This mode can be helpful even for content creators because we can change the LED colors a double tap cycles through the main supported colors and single taps go through the various modes of illumination. You can have these smooth transitions or if you listen to music through a speaker that can produce vibrations, here's the mood setter. You 
can have the very same thing achieved by connecting the charging adapter. It has a USB Type-C port and even if you don't have the base with you, you can use the lamp with any sort of a smartphone adapter. But the base is cool, not only because it's steady and compact, but also because it provides wireless charging. So this could be the new place on the desk dedicated to your smartphone as well. Did I discover any drawbacks during testing? Well, I did. Just an idea. Boring could have provided a Type-C input and made the power source a lot more universal than what it is right now with a dedicated power adapter. There is no smartphone app or remote, unfortunately, and given the RGB nature, you could go for some quite interesting color combinations. Wireless charging could have been a bit faster, and having no ambient light sensor means that there is no possibility for auto brightness feature. In the end, should you buy the boring lamp, and I'll try to keep it as simple as possible over here, because apparently this is not one of those desk essentials, but it's very nice to have, especially if you rely on wireless charging a lot, and if you need something which is very customizable, highly portable, and something that can turn into a productivity enhancer, especially if you shoot photos or videos, because it can be your new favorite portable light. By the time I published the video, most likely Boring Zero would have made its way on Indiegogo. You know my opinion about creating hype through crowdfunding campaigns and the fact that backing a project, yes, it could be very nice because it helps Boring as a company to grow and to create even more and better products, but on the other hand, it's not pure shopping experience, so think twice, and I know that the early bird deals are extremely tempting. Uh, as usual, more information about the products you're going to find in the video description area. Should you have some questions or should you want to share your opinion, invite your commenter down below, make something good for me and subscribe to the channel for more cool tech inspections. I'm Michael, wish you a fantastic day and hope to see you soon. Bye!